Okay, listen, when you're going through something and you just can't go to anyone and everyone for advice, you need someone that will keep it real and give you the best unbiased opinion. Well, we take pride in giving you straight as it is, no matter what. So let's see who needs a little bit of advice today. This is mm, Let's Chat, okay? <laughs> That's right, you can always count on us, real fam. Now tell us your name and where you're from. Hello, real fam, oh my gosh, hi. hi. My name is Madeline and I am from Arlington, Virginia. Okay. Hi, Madeline, hi. glad to have you on hi. the show. Okay, we need to know, how can we help you? Okay, ladies, so today I am here to ask you all for some love and relationship advice. I'm a single 28-year-old, very, very proud BBW, also known as a big, beautiful woman. And I need help with dating. I am on all the dating sites, the free ones, and even to go as far as paying a, for a subscription for dating. And also, it's just hard navigating through the guys that have the fetishes with BBW because that's how it can be sometimes. So I need help and some advice on how to navigate the dating world as a proud, beautiful, confident BBW woman. I already no, love you your already... swag and your confidence, <laughs> yep. girl. Like, That's it oozes out. That is like the sexiest thing about you. I don't, I'm still trying to figure out Facts. what you have problems with. Which part is the problem? Is it navigating through a lot of interest or is it trusting somebody? Which one is it? To be honest, I'm not getting any bites. I'm on there. I, you know, I make sure I fill what? out the questionnaires. I feel like I put it in the bio and. I'm not, again, like I said, the, the ones that do come, which is not that many, are the ones that you can tell just have that weird fetish, and I don't want to be anyone fetish. So it's really not getting any catches. So I don't know what else I need to do. I think you need to start sliding in people's DMs. That's ah, what I would say. That part. Ooh. It never hurts. It's kind of fun. Let me tell you, sometimes you, you have to be the one to approach, and I feel like, you know, women have come so far, and we talk about, you know, equality, yet some of us still have, like, a very old-school mindset in like who should approach who first. And here you are waiting for someone to bite, but have you ever met somebody that you were interested in? And have you ever considered actually possibly going up to them and telling them, hey, I'm interested in you. Would you like to go you grab a probably, bite? Would you like to sit down for coffee? You can probably like already that. see my facial expressions answering um, that question. I have not done, I mean, on some of the profiles you can like, you know, just do a little like of a picture or whatnot on the profiles. But as yeah. far as how's that work that out? Shot, I don't do it often, so I'm not even. Gonna, I mean, I haven't got any bites, but I'm not even going to sit up here and say I've done it often. So I guess maybe I could try doing that more, or actually saying something than just liking. But what's maybe? that? Why do you cringe about it? What do you not like about it? I guess. Just like, I guess just like Adrian explained, I guess maybe I have the old school, you know, or, you know, everyone has, yeah. the girl has the story. I want to be a pro, yeah. you know, have that story. And it's just like, you know, me going out there, but which I don't mind, but it's just, I don't know. And also just nerve wracking, I guess, especially with COVID and mm -hmm. Corona and people can't see you in person. Yeah. I would say, yeah. I mean, I'm single like you. And what I've been told to do is to ask friends in your circle and also friends outside of your circle. So if you don't want to do the apps or you're not getting a bite from the apps, you know, ask some friends, is there anybody you think that would be good for me? Have you done there that? Are a lot of... I have not done that, no. Okay. And remember, yeah, ask yeah. your friends too. And if you That's make what the I first mean. move, it doesn't mean that you yeah. continue to pursue. You can make the first move to just compliment and, and then, then they like pursue. a little flirtatious yeah, just be the same swagalicious you are and just give them a little like, oh, hey, boo, I see you there, something, whatever it may be. And then after that, let and them make they the can next take move. It, it does not mean you have to continue it. Yes, yes. Like, give them a little nudge. Sometimes you've got to stroke the ego. I'm sure you've heard that a little bit, right? Right, I definitely have heard that for sure. And I definitely am taking this and all in and try to put it in there. Yes. <laughs> And Good. try not to judge. I know some people can seem creepy, but like yeah. give guys a chance. At first, it's just a dialogue on text. Give people a chance. Some guys don't even take the greatest photos. Some guys say weird things. But like, if it, if you let's feel be unsafe, honest, you yeah, guys. Stop. If we all were on dating apps, I'm sorry. I'm sure I'd come off kind of creepy too. Like when you think about it, I know I'd come off doing, crazy as hell. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So sometimes you gotta even give those people just a little bit of a chance. Okay, definitely. So be more open. Yes. I always okay. say, 
Don't limit yourself. Be open. And you know what? While you're watching, this is a great time to take care of you, to um, find out your interests. So, you know, do some things to, to keep you happy um, and get you some hobbies that you can do while you're looking for Mr. Right. And you never know. You may run into him while you're preparing and doing those hobbies as well. I yep. love that. You end up meeting people you like great, doing great those advice. same things that they like. That's right. Exactly. Okay. Well, I hope we helped with this advice. I hope we helped you. And remember, the right guy who loves you for you will come along. Do you thank believe you, that? Thank you, ladies, so much. I, you know what? I do. All right, well. I'm thinking all this advice today. So thank you so much. There you so go. You're so welcome. And like Lonnie said, enjoy loving who you are because <laughs> you're special and there's only one of you in the world. So keep in contact with us. Let us know what's happening.